emailing from the left to the right, emailing on a Tuesday night. Dear Awesome Strongman, period. That's the best sentence ever written. Could you please show us some of your awesome wrestling moves? Garden Boy. Best friends never. South Africa. Well, Garden Boy, as a crafty ring veteran, I can let you in on a little secret. Being an awesome wrestler has nothing to do with awesome wrestling moves. It's all about awesome costumes, gimmicks, and dinosaur tranquilizer fuel ranting and raving. I got my first big break with Cable Access's longest named wrestling organization. All World Mid Pro Shirtless Championship Entertainment. Or Omsky. Of course they wanted me to be one of those lame masked wrestlers at first. But I had gimmickier plans. Sir Bolivar Turnbuckle and his signature move, the One-Eighth Nelson. That was back in the days when pretending to be a pompous Brit was considered a premium gimmick. Once I started getting more popular, my next incarnation was... And hailing from the Age of Exploration, the neighbor of nations, Il Cartographer! He making the mat. He taking no crap. And one of my gimmicks was that I'd always come into the ring throwing maps to the restrooms into the crowd. I claim a this saggy ring in the name of Il Cartographer! I was back when my big feud with Homestar Runner was in full swing. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me backstage at historic empty high school gymnasium is a man that needs new introduction. Introducing a jack em up kid! Well, you know, announcer man, that's white. Who yeah? jack em up kid, empty high school gymnasium, scissor weight belt on the line. Who yeah? That's white. That's correct. That's precisely what I'm talking about. I got the drive. I got the commotion. I can't believe it. Who yeah? El Cartographer, what you gonna do when you get jacked up? Very well, of cool. And that feud carried over into my tag team phase with Strongman. Naturally, there were several misfires before we found our groove. Nothing can stop the Wild Vacationers! You better not mess with the Foreign Object Brothers! Rax and Arby, the sanctum of spiky shoulder pads! But we finally settled on the Face Paint Connection! Jack him up, kid! Carry the legend! When we step into the ring with the insidious Mr. Chitayama, you better hope for your guts and your mercy can save you at this Sunday's pay-per-view for series. I didn't climb the mountains and breathe the face paint and fumes just to let you two walk away with that title I'm done. Take me off the air! Take me off the air! Who oh, yeah, that's what. Right. Face paint connection, you can't resist the power of all the screaming Jacobites and Jacobettes out there. When I pin you to the ground for a count of three, which is the legal way to win a match in this wrestling federation, the last time I checked, Gary the Legend, take it away. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Gary the Legend was Homestar's imaginary tag team partner. You tell him. You tell him, Gary. Who oh, yeah. Eventually, I began wrestling as my own dang self, and finally achieved what every wrestler strives for. My own in-ring interview segment. Never before had two chairs and a potted plant so transformed their wrestling ring. It's time for another installment of Strong Bad's Folding Chair Dungeon! Welcome back to the darkest, dankest regions of my dungeon. My prisoner this week is the current middleweight belt holder, the jack of up kid! Who yeah? Who yeah? So you see, Garden Boy? You should stop trying to perfect the summer squash suplex, and instead get yourself a rake, a straw hat, maybe a watering can, and start screaming about how your opponents are gophers! Garden Boy! He's planting the seed! Garden Boy! He's pulling out the weed! He's gonna bring you to your knees! He's a I mean Alright, all you gophers out there, ha bring it on! And Rex, anything you'd care to add? Me from Sama! Five for five! Hey, Strongman, I really like your Rudy from Fat Albert costume.